Hello guys, welcome to Tech to Techie. This video will teach you about Nmap and its usage. So basically, Nmap is a tool that comes inbuilt with Kali Linux and also you can download it for Windows and other Linux versions from its website. Nmap is a tool used for active reconnaissance or specifically, it is mostly used for port scanning, but it also has some advanced features, for example, exploitation, vulnerability scans, and if you are an advanced user, you can also write scripts for exploit. If you want to learn the tool fully, then download its free book from nmap.org. So here's a quick disclaimer. You cannot scan or exploit any target without written permission from sites, networks or, or owners. Site which says you can scan them like nmap.org or hackthesite.org. You can scan only those websites but they often have scope for scanning. Beyond it, scanning is illegal. Please read the documents carefully. Now the first scan is nmap. If you type nmap in the terminal, it will show you a bunch of options for the usage of nmap. The basic input procedure for nmap is nmap to launch it space scan type space options space target specification. There are many scans which are covered fully in nmap book from nmap.org website but only few commonly used scans are mentioned here. Now the first option is nmap slash st space 127.0.0.1 now 127.0.0.1 means we are scanning our own pc it is a loopback address we can also use nmap dash ss 127.0.0.1 here st means scan of type tcp and ss means scan is stealth scanning when you use dash st it sends tcp packets to the target if connection could be established to the target port is listed as open otherwise closed if you use .ss which is called send stealth scan, it is a very similar to TCP scan but is lot faster because it does not form a full connection with the target and rejects or reset the connection in end to remove your print from log file. First, system sends a send packet to destination. The destination responds with a send packet of its own and an acknowledgement packet to acknowledge the receiver. Then system, which is our machine, sends an acknowledgement packet. If a send or acknowledgement send back by destination, it's an open port, otherwise it is a closed port. The scanner then sends an RST to reset the connection before being established fully, often preventing connection attempt appearance in logs. The next scan is version scan. You can perform version scan by writing on terminal nmap space dash sv now sv means scan of type version version detection detects info about specific service and its version running on an open port if you use dash a with it it will enable both os fingerprinting and version detection it is very useful in detecting cve for a large services the next scan is nmap dash o dash st space address now the dash o fingerprinting is used to gain info about remote operating system. It shows a list of probability of OS present in a system. The next scan is nmap-st-p and you specify a, a range of numbers after dash p. Uh, I am selecting here 1 to 150 then address you want to scan. Now dash p is used to specify the number of ports we want to scan. Otherwise nmap will scan 1000 common ports but if you want to narrow your results with some ports then you can use this to scan number of ports you and if you type dash p dash it will scan all the ports of the target next type of scan is dash dash reason if you write nmap dash su dash dash reason dash p dash then our address here what reason does is it is used to tell the reason of the result obtained. Now dash t is used to specify timing of scan. It is a handy feature to do a sneaky scan on a target by varying packet sending speed and avoid detection by firewall. Dash t insane or dash t5 is max speed of nmap. It will send packet after a very little time. If you use dash 2 or dash 0 then it will vary the speed of scan according to the needs. Dash t0 sends a packet and wait 5 minutes for next packet. If you use a dash on space file name attribute, it outputs a human readable log of result. This option can also be used to resume your scan stopped by user by pressing Ctrl C. The next type of attribute you can use is dash dash resume. It resumes the scans cancelled by pressing Ctrl C. The syntax is dash dash resume space log file name options. The log file must be a normal that is dash on or grabable log file that is dash og. Next we come on nl scan. 
Null scan is a very common type of scan. It sends packet with no flag set. The syntax is very basic. You just write n map to launch it and then space the address you want to scan. It is helpful in detecting Windows OS because Windows reject or does not respond to packets with no flag set. If a system produces the same result in send scan and null scan, it is surely not Windows. The next scan is UDP scan. A UDP scan is done by typing nmap-su space the address you want to scan. Not all services use TCP to connect. Some services use UDP services. UDP scan comes handy for those services. These scans are very slow usually firewall absorb the packet and not send a response back to the sender so there is no way of knowing whether port is open or filtered so this is just an intro on an map there is a lot left to cover like spoofing ips max setting decoys idle scans ipv scans etc comment down below in the comment section for next part of the video thanks and subscribe to the channel for more latest upcoming hacking tutorials